Now, you guys, fans on Twitter are speculating that there might be a collaboration that is coming with Nicki Minaj and an Afrobeats artist whose name is Aya Star. And for those of you who do not know her, do not worry. I've got you covered. I will let you know who exactly she is, okay? And it is also being alleged that the Drake and Nicki Minaj collaboration, um, you know, that we have been waiting for might actually be coming out, uh, you know, way sooner than we thought, okay? And at the same time, you guys, it looks like G Hebo is out there allegedly pleading guilty for uh you know credit card fraud identity theft and stuff like that and honestly speaking it is sad you guys to basically see rappers throw their lives away this way okay and at the same time erica banks and her new boyfriend had some interesting things to say that had people just wondering okay it what at, at what point do we actually do draw the line okay hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug now if i do seem to go off tangent a bit please um forgive me because i am on migraine medication okay so yeah first of all we're gonna talk about this entire situation with Nicki minaj and aya star so now aya star in an interview with teen vogue uh was basically letting us know that she was just on a call with the queen of rap Nicki minaj now for those of you who do not know who aya is she is a very talented afrobeats artist and if you do not know some of her songs include rush okay rush really made the waves and it's a very beautiful song and one of her songs that's also very popular is bloody samaritan and that song actually had uh you know a remix featuring kelly Rowland. so this is who we are talking about now aya doesn't seem to be like it's not the first time that she's opening up about Nicki minaj like in an interview with spotify at some point she actually came out and you know told people that you know Nicki minaj really did change her life and stuff like that so after this entire teen vogue interview and after she revealed that she was just on the phone with Nicki minaj people are speculating that the two of them might be coming up with a collaboration and honestly speaking i feel like this is something that i would want to see because i love aya star my personal favorite from aya star is fashion killer you guys should look it up. You should just look up Aya Star. I feel like she's very talented. And I could see Nicki Minaj blending well with her. Because as you do know, Nicki Minaj can ride on any beat, okay? Give her Afro beats. She will literally rap, okay? On an Afro beat. beat give her a dancehall beat. Give her any type of beat. She will be able to basically ride it. So I cannot wait you guys to see that collaboration. If it does you know, end up happening. Okay. So yeah. Do hop into the comment section you guys. And let me know if you would be here for Nicki Minaj. Doing a collaboration with an Afrobeats artist. Personally. Even if it were to be part of her album. I think that would be very very amazing. Alright. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section okay now the next thing that we're gonna be talking about g habbo is out there allegedly pleading guilty for the crimes of identity theft and credit card fraud now honestly speaking i don't know why rappers keep doing stuff like this like they literally you know keep embarrassing themselves and throwing their careers away because allegedly he might be facing up to 20 years in jail and all for what, okay? For a designer puppy, because I did see in an article that some of the things that uh, he basically bought with the money included designer luxurious puppies, you guys, like oh, an entire puppy. Why would you subject yourself to 20 years in prison just so you can get a lavish pup puppy? And at the same time, some people are like, oh, well, she was out there basically, uh, you know, buying luxurious cars and stuff like that. So I do not know, you guys. Do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about G. Herbo pleading guilty to the case of, um, you know, identity theft. Now, the next thing that I'm going to talk about, um, I'm going to talk about this entire... Um, 
this entire Drake and uh, Nicki Minaj situation, you guys. So you do know that uh, it came out about a week or two ago that Nicki Minaj and Drake have a collaboration on the way and that she's going to be on Drake's album. Now, it is being alleged in the streets, you guys, that this collaboration might even come sooner than we expected, with some people speculating that, wow, next month, we will be having um, like the Nicki Minaj and Drake collaboration. And personally, I cannot wait, okay, to basically see what the two of them are brewing. I hope it's something that's along the lines of Moment for Life because in my opinion, that song is iconic, okay? So do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about this entire Drake and um Nicki Minaj collaboration okay now the next thing that I'm gonna be talking about Erica Banks you guys so Erica Banks has got a new man and they had some interesting things to talk about okay you guys stuff that we literally didn't ask for and uh you know they were out there basically letting us know that Erica is basically always taking plan b like she is chewing uh something jelly and i was just like wow uh jelly beans that's what the the man said and honestly speaking what he said after that i'm still looking at both of them sideways like why are you inviting us in this entire conversation like you know like what's the reason all right so yeah personally i think that sometimes erica erica banks i'm sorry does the most okay did you see that little snippet of here of her basically uh letting us in on their intimate stuff i feel like uh the way to look for attention is just too much in my own opinion you guys hey eh? but do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that okay now the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about fendi the rapper seems to be yeah becoming cocky all of a sudden okay she had a couple of more interesting tweets about how the internet is bad and stuff like that and i guess this entire sympathy um is is this entire thing of hers um you know is stemming from the fact that you know uh payola b is out there basically telling her that you know what uh let's fish for sympathy to get uh, you know, the numbers up on the song because it seems like scenes after the song flopped, they're out here just basically trying to prove a point, okay? Now, I hope I just made sense, you guys, because honestly speaking, I can feel myself derailing off topic, but I guess this is the, the effects of the medication. So, you guys, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that i post okay and honestly speaking you guys subscribe because i mean even now in my drowsiness because of this migraine headache i'm still out here basically letting you know because i've been wanting to make this video and i've been procrastinating until the time to take my medication came and now i'm drowsy but i know that i wanted to talk about this entire thing because i am excited about aya and of course Nicki minaj until my next one see you